Okay folks, welcome to the silver locket repair video in which I'm going to try and repair these three lockets. And I'll just quickly go through with you um, what is actually wrong with them to start with. Okay, Okay, this locket here has um, a very worn top ring. So we're going to replace that and then solder on a new one and then solder on a new bale. Okay, this round locket here, um, this has the top ring missing completely. So we'll have to fit one of those. We'll be doing that soon. Now, lastly, this is um, this is not actually a locket. This is an early 1900 Art Nouveau watch fob uh, with a compass attached to it. And as you can see at the top there, the bail attachment is, is missing. So we'll need to replace that. Okay. So the first thing to do is to remove the worn top ring. So we're going to do this firstly by um, cutting off the ring with the pliers and I'm just going to show you that briefly get it in focus there you go and we'll clean that up so now there we've got a little nub there and that's going to be filed away the way to file it away is to uh, essentially hold one side of the locket and um, and file flat across the top surface until you get um, a nice smooth result like this um, which you then take a little bit of emery cloth across and just make sure it's really really smooth um, you can also get um, a slightly finer grade file and um, just carefully go over it with that first just to make sure it's all nice and smooth before you um, Put the new bale on because essentially the uh, the metal needs to be bright for the solder to take properly. Okay. So now look at this already um, has no bale, <laughs> so I don't have to take it off. Um, but I do have to clean up the top. So if you look at the bag of logit, you can see where it says solid silver. That there is the top, and usually it's the back that the that the the um, the bale goes on to. So we're going to attach it to this piece here and that'll just get a bit of emery cloth over it now just to make it nice and clean so the metal's clean for the solder okay okay now the silver out nouveau fob um, what we're going to do first is we're going to um, stick my thumb under the rim here and pull the compass out I don't know if you can see that but there you go that's the compass out so you can see the hallmarks on the back end there and these are British hallmarks and um, typically what you actually see here is the uh, this mark here if you you can look that up in a book that's a date mark this mark here is if you don't have that that's not sterling silver essentially because that that's the uh, what's called the lion the lion passant which is um, a lion walking past looking sideways and it's passive which is why it's called a lion passant it's not because it's passing <laughs> um, this mark here this is the town and when you get an anchor um, that's the town of Birmingham uh, Birmingham is landlocked so I'm not sure quite sure why it's an anchor but uh, well that's what it is anyway <laughs> and this this here is the maker's punch this kind of fob in early 1900 almost everybody would have had um, some kind of pocket watch like this because it was it was like um, today's smartphone really um, it was the, the must-have gadget so people used to follow the style of um, Queen Victoria's husband Albert and they used to wear an Albert chain and the pocket watch used to go in the pocket on the end of the chain and the other end of the chain which is clipped to a buttonhole would have a fob in it like this and fobs took many 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 different forms and people collect these which is why I'm uh, going to repair it so we're going to start this repair and uh, pretty much like we did with the last piece by filing this area here so that it's nice and rounded so that it can take um, a new ring okay and that's what I'm going to do next I'm going to use an oval coarse file to do that okay in order to make the bale 
I've got some one millimeter silver wire here, which I bought from Cookson's Gold. I'm basically going to use these, which are um, round nosed pliers, and I'm going to try and <coughs> make the first bale with these. And I'm going to try and do it inside this depth of field on this camera, which is going to be pretty difficult, but I'll, I'll give it a shot. So to do this, um, essentially you grip the silver wire and rotate it around until you've got something like this. There you go, that's just in focus there. And then what you want to do is, uh, this needs to be cut now. You want to cut the flat side of the pli pliers uh, facing towards the ring so that you've got a flat surface on both edges of the ring. Now you can see they're a bit rough so they're going to be filed flat now and then we'll be able to bring them together. Okay so there is the splayed and filed ring. I'm now going to close the ring <coughs> and solder it. So the ring is closed by uh, holding it with two pairs of pliers and then the, the end of this can then be tamped down with the other pliers and um, we'll then put a little bit of flux on that and a little bit of solder and we'll solder it. I generally use solder paste on things like this because um, it's impossible to balance a solder chip on a ring really. Uh, you can do but it's very time consuming. Okay to solder it then hold the ring in, a, in an absolutely minimal position so that you haven't got much contact. And wait till the solder melts over and you can see that and it's been soldered up. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do with this is we're going to put a flat on it so that it sits slightly flat on the locket. And I'm going to do that with a file so the piece is held. Um, you can hold it in, in your fingers or you can hold it in a pair of pliers like this, which is um, these, are, these are silversmiths pliers. They've got um, smooth jaws so they don't damage the silver. And then you can use that to do the filing flat. So there's your flat bit and that's going to go against the locket when we go for the solder. So the next thing I do is to make another ring for the other locket 